All right, this is problem two of the 2022 M Maths individual round. And this problem reads triangle ABC has AB equals three, BC equals four, and CA equals five. Points D, E, F, G, H, and I are the reflections of A over B, B over A, B over C, C over B, C over A, and A over C respectively. Find the area of hexagon E, F, I, D, G, H. And this is a problem that at first glance seems a little difficult, but we can see that it will become so much easier once we have a diagram. So we can start by drawing our right triangle ABC. It's a right triangle because its side lengths are three, four, and five. And so it satisfies the Pythagorean theorem as three squared plus four squared equals five squared. And we have our vertices A, B, and C, respectively. Now let's draw points D, E, F, G, H, and I. And D is the point that's the reflection of A over B. So this point right here is D. E is the reflection of B over A. So B over A. So E is about right here. Um, point F is the reflection of B over C. So we can reflect B over C. It looks something like this. So F is about right here. Um, G is the reflection of point C over B. So G is about right here. Um, H is C over A. So H looks like it's going to be about right there. And finally, I is going to be A over C. So I is going to be about right here. And we want to find this hexagon, the area of this hexagon, which I will do in red, E, F, I, D, G, H. So the hexagon looks something like this. And from this diagram, you can see that this hexagon looks suspiciously like two rectangles and two triangles, two right triangles. And in fact, we will see that this is the case that B, E, H, G is indeed a rectangle and B, F, I, D is indeed a rectangle. And so the reason why is, well, all of these points are reflections. So if you're going to reflect A across B, you get its mirror image D, which is also three units away from B. Um, and similarly, A, E is also three units. You're reflecting B over A. And we can write in a few of these other lengths. CF is four. BG is four. IC is five. And AH is five. And... What 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 well what else can we say? We can say that this triangle ICF is congruent to triangle ACB. Let me write that down. ICF is congruent to triangle ACB. Three. Why is that? The reason is because you have side angle side AC equals IC. BC equals FC, and this angle is equal to this angle because they're opposite angles. Because of that, IF is equal to three, and this angle is also a right angle. Um, and now what do we see? We see that you, you've got these two, two right angles here. You have these two equal sides, three. And that's enough to tell us that BFID is a rectangle. So BFID is a rectangle. We'll keep that in the back of our heads because it will be very useful when we calculate our area. Similarly, what else do we see? We see that, look at this triangle, AEH is congruent to ABC as well. And once again, that's because of side 
side and then the, the angle between them. Meaning that this this guy's a right angle. This guy's also equal to four, which you'll notice is equal to BG as well. And once again, you see that because of these two right angles and equal opposite side. This guy's also a rectangle as well. Um, some more more congruences. We see that triangle BDG is congruent to our triangle ABC, but we'll write the vertices in the corresponding order, BAC, meaning that this guy is indeed a right angle and this side length is five. Okay, so now, now with that said, let's get started computing the area of this red hexagon and we'll break it into four smaller areas. Um, we'll whoops we'll we'll find the area of this rectangle the area of this rectangle um and then the area of this right triangle and the area of this right triangle and then we'll add them all together and then that'll give us give us our answer so first of all the area of this rectangle well it's got side lengths four and six so the area is four times six which is 24. This rectangle has area 24 as well because 3 times 8 is 24. This triangle has legs 3 and 4, and it's a right triangle, so base times height over 2. 3 times 4 over 2 is 6. And finally, this triangle, FBE, it's also a right triangle. You'll notice its side lengths are 6 and 8. So its area is 6 times 8 divided by 2, which is also 24 as well. And finally, the area of our hexagon is 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 6, which is equal to 78. And that is our desired answer. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.